you know the name Jennifer Lopez. Her music and her movies. Well, now she's sharing her knowledge of Hollywood and the businesses that made her a multi-million dollar star with nearly 400 Latina entrepreneurs trying to change the face and the language of the small business world. We're changing lives. We want to take the Latina entrepreneur, empower them, give them opportunity where there wasn't. Um, you know, me growing up the way I did, you know, we weren't even in the conversation in that way. And the opportunity to do something, that's all anybody wants. Nobody wants a handout. But that opportunity can change your life. Which is why Lopez is partnering with nonprofit Grameen and its CEO, Andrea Jung, to deliver a total of $14 billion to Latina entrepreneurs by 2030. Together with their male counterparts, Latina entrepreneurs make up one of the fastest growing groups of small business owners in the country, creating businesses at a rate six times faster than other racial or ethnic groups. But in spite of that, Latinos are 60% less likely than their white peers to get their loans approved by national banks. Latina owned businesses have grown 44% in the last 10 years. Morgan, the capital that is going is paltry and it's unacceptable. They just want to have an equal chance. Why is giving someone the resources to start a business the way to close that gap, to make things a little bit more equitable? Yeah, because we can, we can just be the kind of, uh, you know, working in the kitchen, the valet parkers, all this stuff like that, the traditional kind of things where people think of Latinos in these roles. And the point is, is that we want more than that. We, just, we, we have bigger dreams than that. And for me, even in my own business, I was like an artist who was like making billions of dollars for other people and not really even realizing it, just like happy to be in the room. And then started to realize, wait a minute, I can make my own perfume. I can do this in my own way. I should own a part of this business. I remember watching you. I was growing up in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I would see you come across the screen and you were so proud. <laughs> right? And mind you, this is a time when there weren't a lot of roles for Latinos, mm -hmm. and especially in Hollywood, mm -hmm. or they were pigeonholed, right? And you showed up on the stage and said, no, no, no. I'm Jennifer Lopez. This is my name. I'm loud and I'm proud. This is my body. This is who I am, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. And, and you made the world reckon with you and what it meant to be Latina. Why was it so important to you to always have Latinidad, just the, the, the concept of being Latino, front and center. It's just who I was. And I think my mother and my family raised me to be proud of who I was. And so when I went into these worlds like Hollywood, where we were not represented at all, I almost felt like, like, a, like a unicorn. I'm, I'm Latina, I'm Jennifer Lopez from the Bronx. And my parents are Puerto Rican, and I'm Puerto Rican. And I think it made me feel uh, special. Even the whole kind of like body thing was such a thing. It was like everybody was like size zero models, yeah. tall, blonde, you know, beautiful, a beauty, a certain type of beauty, but there was other types of beauty there that was a narrow I grew up window with. Of there was what a narrow was window. And I was beautiful. like, my mother was also beautiful. She had a beautiful eye. I mean, my dad, you know, and my, my we always talked about their big butts and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not to reduce myself to that, because that's what then they tried to do after, right? Because I was so okay with it. They made fun of me for mm. it. I have to credit my, my parents and my family for making me feel um, like I was worth something, and that I didn't have to be anything other than who I was. My grandmother used to make us dresses. And How do you help these women have the same thing? What do you say <laughs> I to the generation? I try. I don't have any magic uh, kind of formula for success. What I've learned is that if you can follow your heart, if you can be true to yourself, and you can work really hard, the difference between being successful and not being successful is not giving up. And I just didn't give up. And you're here? And here we are. <laughs> and here okay. she is. I, mean, I don't think there's anyone who works harder than Jennifer Lopez, but to hear her say her parents made her believe that she was worth something. I mean, that like really just resonates. that, yes. It, it shows you, I mean, the power of having someone feel seen and mm -hmm. having someone feel worthy. Yeah. And I right. think what's so cool about what she's doing now is really putting action behind that, mm -hmm. right? She's trying to create generational wealth because yeah. that is what they say will help sort of bridge the wealth gap. I mean, this is about giving resources to a community that just 
wants a start, yeah. right? I mean, and then she's talking about the values her parents instilled in her, that if you work hard and you can do it, and it's giving people the chance to do just that. It's beyond time. And just those but, numbers of the number of yeah. Latinas who have businesses and the number who get loans yeah. is, is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And we heard that somewhere in this interview where you were sitting down, it must have been amazing anyway, mm -hmm. there was another family member of hers nearby. Yeah, was it? Who was it? Special guest, maybe a new husband mm -hmm. named Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Oh, he was he doing? Was right there. He was watching and her, that. adoringly cheering her on, wishing her well. It was very, very cute. Are they so cute together? They were so I haven't cute seen together. them together since the wedding. They were so affectionate and lovely, and the crowd just loved. And you know what was so cool is they were so open, yeah. to speaking yeah. to the women yeah. and just encouraging them. And that's what it meant. Seeing them was encouragement. Talking to them was encouragement. Their time was encouragement. Yeah. Well, seeing Jayla, I mean, she's done it for years now, as you know well. Use her platform, yeah, for good. To yeah, try and lift, she does. lift other folks up. And by the way, it's, it was good to see you on stage mm -hmm. moderating that. I was real proud of you. I said, way to go, Morgan. Thank That's you. awesome. We did with our partners at Telemundo, yeah. so everyone was included in both languages, That's and great. it was a great event. Great, great job. Way to go, Morgan. Thank you. conversation, mm -hmm. indeed. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.